Now let's animate the profile picture and the text. So let's first change the view that holds the image to an animated dot view. Next, we need to have three constants that we need to create. Coming here, let's just duplicate the constant that we had created first. Let's call this one profile image height. So what we want is we want the image to decrease in size and then move under the header. So we want this animation to work in synchronization with the header animation. So we'll keep the input range the same, but the output range will obviously change. We want the output range to be the profile image max height when the header is not moved. And when the header is at its minimum height, we want it to be its smallest height, which will be profile image min height. These two we had created in the beginning of the video. Now that we've created those, let's add them here in our animated view. So in our height, let's change that to profile image height. And also let's change the width to profile image height since it's a round image. And let's test that out now. So if we scroll up, we see that the image is decreasing in size as we go up and it comes back to the size when we come down. We need to also change a few other properties as you can see that the image is going above the header and it's also not getting hidden behind the header. So let's change the margin top of the image. Come here, let's copy this constant. Let's change this to profile image margin top. Again, the input range is going to be the same as the other two animations because we want them to work together. The output range is going to be what we had set up here. If you remember, margin top is the maximum height of the header minus the profile image height divided by two, which is equal to 80 because this is 120 minus 80 divided by two. So let's just copy this, paste this in here. So our starting margin is the one we had already set. And since on scroll, we want the image to move below the header and not stay half on it. What we'll do is we'll just use header max height and save that. So if we apply the profile image margin top here, we see the image comes nicely below the header. We can also just give it a plus five to space it out a little. Next, there's one more thing we need to do. That is when we're scrolling that the image is not going below the header. For that, we'll use the property known as head index. So let's create another constant. We'll call this one header Z index. The input range will remain the same and the output range will just change from zero to one. Now let's just apply this header Z index here. So we'll create a property called Z index and apply the header Z index here. As you can see, the image went under the header. So here it comes on top and there it goes below it. Now the last thing we need to do is show the text that displays here when the user scrolls up. So for that, let's create a new animated view. So inside the header here, we'll create a new animated view. And inside that we'll put in a text and we'll give some styles. Font size of 14 and a font weight of bold. Let's just put in my name there. We'll also add some styles to the view to position the text. So we'll say style, position absolute, and give it a bottom of zero. To the header, we'll give it an align items of center so that the text comes to the center. For now, we'll just leave the color black so that you can see the animation more clearly. So let's create a last constant now. Copy this one here. And change the name here to header title bottom. So here in the input range, we'll use a few extra values. Firstly, we want the user to scroll the normal scroll distance that we've been doing, which is till the time the image becomes small. Then we also want the user to scroll the height of the minimum profile picture plus this five margin that we had given. And then while scrolling this text here, we want this to display. Let's first set the header title bottom here. Change the bottom zero to header title bottom. Now to start with, let's give the first position as minus 20. We see the text moves below. Then for the second position, we'll say that the user has scrolled till this point. Even then we want the position of the text to be minus 20. Let's just get rid of the third one here first. 
Next, we want the user to scroll the image plus the margin. So we'll say header max height minus header minimum height plus five, which is the margin, plus the height of the minimum profile picture. And for the third value as well, we want this to be minus 20. So if you see here, the user scrolls, the first part is the first scroll, then the image and the margin is scrolled, the text stays at the same place. When these two come aligned with each other, that's when we want this text to start moving. If I wanted, I could have put all these animations in together into one input range, but just for clarity, I've spread them out. So the last thing we need to do now is to actually move the text. So let's copy this last distance that we had scrolled. And to that, we'll just add the height of the font, which is 26, as the font size is 26, it's approximately that. And for that, we wanna move this to zero. Let's save that and let's check that out. And as you can see, the text starts moving. For more clarity, let's change the color to white now. If we save that, that's gone. And as we come up here, we see the text coming up. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys like this. This Twitter animation is finally complete. Please let me know how you liked it.